proficiency on math, specifically probability, plays an important role on the Christmas story. Today we're going to talk about the birth of Jesus, the Son of God. Hey, Mr. STEM MC, I don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He just couldn't be. Okay, so what about all the prophecies in the Bible that talk about Jesus? He fulfilled them all, so isn't he the Son of God? Um, no, he just accidentally fulfilled them. But do you know the probability of Jesus fulfilling all the prophecies? Let's explain probability. Here are ten quarters, with one of them marked. Now, I'm going to put them in this bag. What is the probability of you pulling up the marked coin? Easy, one in ten. See? Hmm. Not the marked coin. Not this one either. Here we are. As you can see, it took you six tries to pull up the marked coin. Well, a professor of mathematics, astronomy, and science named Peter Stoner wanted to find out the probability of Jesus fulfilling all the prophecies in the Bible. He and about 600 students started with the eight most known prophecies of the Bible. He then calculated the probability. The probability is 1 in 10. That's not so big. Let me finish. The probability is 1 in 10 to the 17th power. That's 1 followed by 17 zeros. Well, is that really a big deal? Here's an example Stoner used to demonstrate how big of a deal this really was. Start by taking the state of Texas and cover it with silver dollars until it's covered with silver dollars two feet deep. Two feet deep in the big state of Texas? That's a lot of cold hard cash. Yes, now mark one and ask a friend to drive anywhere in the state and hide it. Then ask another friend to walk blindfolded only once, picking up and hoping that it's the marked coin. Only one time? Only once to reach down and hopefully pick up that marked coin. Aw, oh, it ain't gonna happen. The probability is about 1 in 10 to the 17th power. Wow, so it was really unlikely that one man could fulfill all eight of the prophecies. Did Jesus really fulfill eight prophecies? Well, actually, no. Jesus fulfilled over 100 prophecies. And this probability number is so huge that we would even have to go to outer space to demonstrate how big this probability is. Okay, any questions? Hey, Jesus read the scriptures. He could have fulfilled the prophecies himself. There are many prophecies that he couldn't have fulfilled, such as the place of his birth, the details of his crucifixion, and who he was going to be born to. For example, look at these eight prophecies concerning Jesus' birth and early life that talk about his predecessor, John the Baptist, his ancestral lineage from the family line of King David, son of Jesse, to his place and birth in Bethlehem, his birth to a virgin, his visit from shepherds, his parents escaping to Egypt when he was a baby, and Herod killing children to try to get rid of him as a child. Wow! Now I know why Christmas is such a big deal. It is the true Christmas miracle. But you should study the prophecies about Jesus' death and resurrection. If you want to check out some more prophecies, I'll post some resources in the comments. Watch out for my next video. Be there or be MC squared. See ya.